Alrighty, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy on the gamer 870 back with another bang of peak game. If you are here to talk noise about the Broncos, that's fine, that's well, that's cute, that's whatever you want to call it. Um, we did take an L last night to the Seattle Seahawks. Great game played by them. But if you all been, have been watching the streams, I told you that there was a strong possibility that that, that could happen. Uh, Russell Wilson was in Seattle for 10 years. Just like Russell Wilson knows them, they also know him. So we were able to play a game, and honestly, for the first half, it looked like we got the wrong quarterback out of Seattle. It's going to be completely transparent. It looked like Geno Smith was that dude. Uh, he had a really good game. Geno Smith played a really good game. Um, he took it personally, which he should have, and it looks as if Russell Wilson thought he was just going to be able to walk into the building and everybody bow down. He, Russell Wilson actually played very well. If you go keep it a buck, he played very well too. It just was a personal game for Seattle. Denver didn't use any preseason games to get better. It is what it is. It is what it is. That's not why you're here. I just want to get that off my chest for those who came to hear a Bronco theme team. Ah! Yeah, I yeah, it was bad for me, too. It was bad. But, as you can see, we are rocking with the pure Broncos theme team. We're 83 overall, 81 offense, 85 defense. Uh, I said some pretty unsavory things last week. And let me first off be a man to apologize to Madden, to EA, people who follow me on Twitter, Whatever the case may be. Um, I made a statement that, you know, Madden doesn't really give cards to all of the theme teams. I wish they would just spread it all evenly. You know, instead of every single promo, Raiders get cards, 49ers get cards, Cowboys get cards, Ravens get cards, a um, variety of teams get cards, right? Except for you have that handful of teams that you're like, how are they in 82 and that team was 85 or 86 or 87? Like, how was that even possible? When EA is responsible for creating the, the numbers that go with the players' ranking. It makes no sense to me. Like, you can easily just spread it out and have everybody evenly divided. But that's neither here nor there. But I also made a statement that wasn't true. I said that we didn't get a card in, in terms of Denver for the, for the first half of ultimate kickoff. I was incorrect, okay? I was very incorrect. And what happened was we had Mr. Greg Dulcich. He wasn't advertised. He wasn't advertised, so I didn't think we had him. But he's a 76 overall tight end. That's nothing to be excited about, I know. He's actually a 76 overall, but he's actually my best tight end. Actually my best tight end. So if we'll take a look at Mr. We actually can't take a look at him by looking at upgrades, so we have to come in here. Um, he's 6'4", add 2 to the speed, so he's an 80 speed, 63 strength, 76 catching, 76 catching traffic, 78 spec catch, 75 short, 73 mid medium route running, and 48 run blocking. Not bad at all. Not good, but not bad. Okay, Not good, but it's not bad. Either. So we did get an upgrade in terms of Mr. Greg Dulcich. If you all are unfamiliar right now, we are rocking with the 40, 54 out of 50 Broncos theme team. It can't get any more full than this. Like You, you, you can't have a, a number higher than that with Broncos camp. You just can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Um, well, I forget. If Larry Zonka plays fullback and it's a, it's a card that you can put any Kim on for the, from any team, you could actually put the fullback there and be able to use other players in other places. That's neither here nor there. But right now, we are definitely one of the best. This is why you're here. This guy is why you're here. This guy is why I'm here, honestly. Uh, shout out to Shelby Harris. I don't know if you all actually caught it, but 
uh, last night they interviewed him and they said, how does it feel something about coming and beating Denver? And, and he was like, all I got to say is this. That's right. That was pretty, pretty fun. Hope you all win more games. But that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. Um, as you all can see, Champ Bailey is on the squad. Champ Bailey is on the squad. We have upgraded him. He gets pick artists for one AP. He gets pick artists for one AP. Um, he gets flat zone KO for two AP. That's the only thing that he has reduced. He also gets lurker. I may put lurker on him to be honest with you. I don't want anybody throwing in his direction. Uh, acrobat, pick artist, inside shade for 3 AP. He gets deep route KO for 3 AP. He gets mid route KO for 2 AP. And outside shade. Honestly, I just may put deep route KO on him and call it a day. I don't know what it is, but when you put deep route, when you put a route KO on any of these guys, you're not catching on. You can count some Christmas on that. Um, he gets on ball, on the ball, short route KO, flat zone KO, outmatched, tip drill, truck out, spin cycle, Grant Steerville animate. Why is that a – I guess they plan on getting a lot of interceptions. That doesn't even seem like a defensive ability. That's neither here nor there. He gets jukebox. Why? That doesn't seem like a – okay. He gets mid-route KO as well. Um, he also gets clutch, homer, indoor baller, persistent, comeback, closer, recuperation, and second win. Those of you who haven't watched the stream, if you haven't watched the stream, you have noticed that on all of my offensive players who are skill positions or who can get them, I run recuperation. And that's simply because I want to be able to run hurry up. And while your team is getting tired, my team is just fine. Um, I was able to run Javante Williams. The other day, and I ran Javante Williams like 11 straight times in a solo. And he wasn't tired. He just was able to do it and bounce back. Those of you who have been looking at the levels, we're, I'm going to show you my levels here before I rock out. Um, we're really grinding for Cortland Sutton. And on competitive level, as of right now, we have 12 days to finish this, and I haven't even played my solos for today. We're on level 6, and we are going to get to level 22. We're going to get to level 22 to get the exclusive Portland Sudden, which will be an 89 overall on the squad. He will have 90 speed, at least a 90 speed. So we, we, we're doing pretty well. So today I'm going to... If you are not doing these campaigns, these solos, this stuff to get a free card, come on, man. they giving us free cards. We, we, we got to do what we got to do. So probably after I get done shooting this video, I'm going to complete these. Uh, but it's free. It's free. Go for it. Go for it. I haven't even started playing much champions yet, but I will have Cortland Sutton by the end of the week. I will have Cortland Sutton by the end of the week. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to rock out like that. We're going to rock out like that. Um, get your laughs out. Get your, get your laughs and giggles out while you can. I actually still feel bad, so it is what it is. But if you all have not done so, you all continue to be blessed, continue to allow God to use you. If nobody's told you today, I love each and every one of you, and there's nothing that you can do about it. Peace.